everyone, and welcome back to SoulCast. My name is Jen Westlake, and I am your host for today and for this week. I'm really happy to be with you again, and I hope this message finds you doing well. I hope your life is um, getting better and better every day. I pray that you are attracting new opportunities and that the blessings and the magic is coming your way. And so um, this week is really exciting. And I want to share with you the message that I have for, for you this week. Every week, I um, go to great lengths to receive the messages from um, our higher power, um, the one creator, the source of all that is. I take a lot of time in fasting and meditating and channeling the message that I get for you. So I just want you to know that I take this very seriously. It is part of my purpose to um, help you get through this transition into the golden age, into the age of Aquarius, something that we've been talking about for even before the 60s. And so um, I hope that you all are doing well. And so without further ado, I'll get into this week's message and just want you to know that on one side of the coin, we may be seeing um, the world that we take for granted dismantling and dissolving. And um, as certain systems that were created uh, over a hundred years ago or longer are starting to fall apart and we're starting to see the rot that is within the systems that um, are a part of our lives, the education system, government, finances, medical, and big pharma, um, systems that were created to help us over time have now turned out that they um, harm us. And that's why they have to go. But while, but while one thing is dissolving away, on the other side of the coin, something is being creative and something new and glorious and wonderful. And we are on the precipice of going into a new life, a new life um, where things are more um, equal, where we will be experiencing a freedom that we have never known before, that we will be experiencing abundance, um, health, um, knowledge and wisdom, so much more than we could even comprehend at this time. It's going to be challenging if you're closed to the transition that's uh, taking place. It's going to be hard on you if you're holding on to the old white knuckled and tight fisted. And so please open up your hands and be willing to choose the path less traveled the spiritual path, the higher vibrational path, so that you can get through these days ahead with ease and grace, where you will come out standing on your two feet, stronger and more confident and, and empowered than ever before in your lives. This week, this is a time of fertility, a time for creativity. And so again, this might be a great week to Plant seeds for your desires. Plant seeds for your um, goals and dreams. Start planting seeds um, in how you want to change different aspects within different relationships. Um, work relationships, family relationships, um, friend relationships, hobby relationships. It's all about relationships. So it's Time to use your voice and begin to start planting seeds and take this time of fertility and creativity and plant those seeds and begin to take the action steps to symbolically water them so that these things can begin to grow. Because as one thing ends, something new begins. And so let's get a jump on it and get going on it while we have fertile soil to move forward in. It's a great time to really be focusing on the outcomes, the ideal results, 
that you would like to see manifest in your own individual lives. Another thing this week is, again, as you plant seeds, you'll begin to see coincidence and synchronicities. It will be magical um, to see how things just start falling into place for you. Um, as you make time for your spiritual self every day by going into your sacred space, that time will help you manifest more quickly. If you spend some sacred time with the divine every day, as you develop your relationship, as you partner, as you become closer with your higher power, with the one creator of all that is, and, you know, he's your dad, she's your mom, Christ is our brother, and we have other brothers too that we call ascended masters, brothers and sisters that help us. We have our guardian angels and our spirit guides and our loved ones that are already on the other side of the veil that we talked about last week. So we're not alone. There are cheerleaders and they're cheering us on and they're helping to lift us up and get us to where we want and to where we need to be going at this time. So every week, every day, spend time with the divine. And you'll see the magic begin to happen more and more in your life. And miracles happen. Another thing that we want to talk about this week is Mother Gaia. She is going through this transition. It is her decision to move into the higher vibration and into the golden age. And if we are not a vibrational match with her, we may not be going with her to the higher dimension. You know, you may call that the new millennium, the rapture, 5D, the golden age. There's so many different names for the same thing that so many of us are talking about, but we are moving into the higher frequency of love and light and health and abundance. And it is going to be glorious where we're going. But we need to hold on and hang on. This is going to be a roller coaster ride, but we need to find the fun in this ride. Look for the exhilaration, look for the excitement, and use your discernment on how much you want to get involved in the drama. My recommendation, and I've mentioned this before, is to be the bird up in the tree. Have that higher view. Look down on it and with loving detachment and emotional neutrality. Try not to um, own any of the scary or stressful frequencies of others. Just observe and stand as, as a witness during these times so that you can use your common sense and your discernment and your critical thinking skills to navigate what's best for you and your family. So it could be a little tricky, and that's why it's important to go within and to be calm and step into your peace and step into your joy and step into your trust and faith in yourself, in your abilities, and your higher power at this time. So that is something that's coming through. And as you connect with Mother Gaia, um, she will protect you and she will carry you if you are taking the action steps to have a vibrational alignment with her. So we want to be a vibrational match with her so we can go into the golden age, into this higher frequency, into this higher realm of reality of love and light. Another thing that we want to talk about is coherence. So what we're striving to do through all this stress is to create coherence with our mind and our heart. It's almost like we want to think with our heart and feel with our mind and make that 18 inch connection. So our mind and our heart and our soul are all on the same page so that we can get that internal coherence so that we aren't having internal conflicts, that we're not at war within ourselves. So this week, 
go within your sacred space and go within and say, where is my mind and my heart not on the same page? Where are we dissonant? We need to work on becoming resonant with each other and have that coherence. It's that mind and heart um, connection. If you want to learn more about your mind and heart connection, I recommend you look up the Institute of Heart Math. They have done so many studies over the years that can assist you in creating that coherence between your mind and your heart. So that is something that you get to look into this week and maybe try to take some action steps to go within and make that 18 inch connection with your mind and your heart for that coherence. Uh, finally, this week, I want you to focus on making sure that you have the things that you need for your physical survival. Do you feel safe and secure in your home? Do you feel safe and secure at work? Do you have your supplies? Do you have your money? Um, do you have your insurance, your medical insurance or your home insurance, car insurance, everything that you may need to be safe and secure? Do you have a roof over your head? Do you have clothes to wear, especially now that here in the Northern Hemisphere, we're going into fall and things are gonna be getting colder. And so you wanna make sure that you have your warm clothes and your coats and your boots ready to go. So make sure you have all the preparations for your survival. Financially, do you have your cash? Do you have your financial affairs in order? Have you taken the action steps to protect your assets? It's going to be different for each one of you what you get to do, but just write a checklist and see where you're at at this time. You need to get these affairs in order. Last week, we talked about how much we've lost our loved ones, that there's been a lot of people that have passed away and they've got gone home to um, the higher realm and they are helping us from the other side of the veil. So one of the things that you may want to consider, and this I hope to not sound morbid, but with so many people passing away, it may be time for you to take the action steps. If anything were to happen, that you have your funeral or um, death, end of life um, protocols written down that you have everything lined up. Do you have your trust? Do you have your will? Do you have your burial plot? Do you have all of those things figured out? I know that sounds weird, but we are going through a moment um, where um, Cliff High's, um, <laughs> predictive linguistics program is letting us know that in the next several years, we're gonna have a lot of people leaving the planet and going home. So you wanna make sure that you get those affairs in order now because the prices of those things are going up. So why you can get those at a reasonable price, you might wanna take the action steps to line those things up for you. I know that sounds kind of dark, but it is important and you deserve to get those things taken care of because it's way more stressful to have to do that for a loved one that doesn't have any of those things figured out and prepared for in advance. It makes that grieving process so much more stressful. So out of love and kindness and compassion for yourself, that is something that you want to get prepared for as early and in advance as you can. Um, last but not least, I just want you to know that you are a magical person. God is a God of miracles, and you deserve to have miracles in your life. As you deepen your relationship with our higher power, the one creator of all that is, and as we connect to Christ and the Christ consciousness, we are entitled to miracles if we but ask. Remember, 
we live in a free will universe. And so God and the angels cannot help us unless we ask. So every day, go into your sacred space and commune with the divine. Ask them for the things you stand in need of. Ask them for the things that you desire. Your job is to ask and your job is to receive. The how, how it's gonna happen, how it's gonna come to you and when it's gonna come to you is the domain of the universe. And so remember to ask. Now you don't have to get so articulate or specific, but be clear about what it is you want and ask and put it out there and trust and have faith that you will receive because you will receive. So again, you are amazing. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching Soulcast. I really appreciate you. If there's anything I can do for you, again, please reach out to me at hello at soululair.com. You can visit the website too, soululair.com. And I just want you to know that you are amazing and I am here for you. I love you and I appreciate you. And I hope you have a super fantastic week ahead. And I look forward for us meeting again next week. Have a great day. Bye.